natural beauties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bibi and I'm here to help you love your skin again and give you small tips and tricks that you can do on a daily basis to really help improve the way that your skin looks and also the way that you feel about your skin. Now obviously we are in the festive season and if you haven't seen my previous video where I give you a couple of tips on how you can keep your skin looking and feeling jolly as well, please make sure to check that out. I'll also link it down below so you can go and look at it and make sure to love your skin. But then of course what we're going to do today is in the same line of taking care of your skin during this festive season but also something that you can do any time of the year and especially if you really want something to brighten and lift your skin for a special occasion. Kind of like a shock treatment for your skin and a quick fix for your skin to really get it to glow and look like you've had a million dollar facial. So let's get started. So what this special treatment for your skin is that you'll be able to do yourself is literally called an ice facial. Now, yes, I'm sure you've seen on Instagram or Facebook or any of these social media platforms where you find people throwing a bunch of ice in a bucket of water and dumping their face in the water. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. That is cold and a bit too excessive and can actually be a little bit harmful for your skin instead of doing good. No, what I'm talking about when we do an ice facial is you're literally going to take a little compress. I like these. And then when you wet them, they turn into a cloth. You're going to take your ice cube. You're going to put it inside, wrap it up, and then press it on your skin. Like that. Very simple, very easy, and not as messy as dumping your face into a bucket of water and most probably halfway drown yourself as well, just because the water is so cold and when you get a shock, you generally want to try and breathe and now your mouth is underneath water and so is your nose and no, <laughs> just not a good idea. So very simply taking your ice cube, putting it into a piece of cloth and just pressing it onto your skin. Now there's a couple of things that this will be good for other than brightening and just lifting the skin and really making it look like you've just had a facial, it will definitely reduce puffiness. It temporarily reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Ice also improves, yes, improves the circulation that comes to the skin. So your skin will get that glowy feeling to it. It will have more nutrients, more oxygen in the skin, which will help to brighten it. Ice is also really good to reduce inflammation. So for instance, like when you sprain your ankle, you would generally take an ice pack, place it on the area to reduce the inflammation and also reduce the swelling. And that is exactly what the ice will do on your skin. With the ice that you apply to your skin though, you have the added benefit of actually customizing the ice. Let's say for instance sake, adding cucumber or milk or honey or green tea or anything like this, which will have different effects on the skin as well. All right, so the process of doing this is really simple. Like I said, you're just gonna take your ice cube, wrap it in your little cloth, and you're gonna apply it to your skin. Now you have to remember this is ice. It can burn the skin if you're not careful. So you're not going to leave it on any of the areas too long. You literally just apply it to your skin for 15 to 30 seconds, lift it off and move it on for 15 to 30 seconds. And you'll literally do your whole face just by patting it all over the skin Yes, you can actually go underneath the eyes as well and actually very, very close to the eyes as well. But on your eye area, because the skin is so delicate, make sure you move it quicker than you would on your chin. Because here you could actually potentially leave it for a minute and you will be fine. 
Whereas on your eye area, it's too sensitive, it's too delicate, you will burn the skin. So when you come to your eye area, just move it around quicker. You can stay on the area quite long, like you can stay here for about a minute, but don't stay on that one area for a full minute. That will harm your skin, all right? So keep on moving it. And then of course you just do all the areas of your face and you can also do down the chin and of course your neck area as well now remember your ice cube will melt because your skin is warm so yes you might need a dry cloth or something handy just to pat off or around your chest area to make sure you don't drench yourself Oh, well, you could do it just after you've gotten out of the shower while you still have your towel around you or anything like that, which will just then, of course, help with, well, absorbing all the water that will be coming off of your skin. The other thing that eye facials are really, really good for is, is cystic acne. Because basically what cystic acne is, is it's small injuries that's on the skin that's sensitive inflamed and well painful to a certain extent now with the ice of course that will soothe the sensitivity reduce the inflammation and it will also help numb the pain which will make the acne a bit more bearable now by no means is this going to be an acne treatment it's not going to take the acne away but it will give you some relief and with acne, you can actually leave it on the acne spot that you have for one minute, then remove it. All right. What you can also do then, of course, with your ice cube is add some green tea in the ice cube, which is very, very healing and soothing to the skin. And that will help with the cystic acne as well. And of course, putting the ice cube on your skin will also then constrict your oil glands that will then lessen the production of oil that they produce, of course, then making the skin appear less oily. But now, like I said, by no means is this going to be a permanent solution and take it away, but it will definitely improve it. So also, if you want a little bit of extra exfoliation within your ice facial, you can add some milk and cucumber to your ice cubes, which will naturally exfoliate the skin as well with the lactic acid that's in the milk, of course, and cucumber also helping to hydrate and exfoliate the skin. For those puffy eyes, you can definitely add a bit of green tea, which will help with draining and detoxifying. And for the oil gland constriction, you can also add a little bit of mint to the ice cube, which will then, of course, have that extra cooling effect and constrict the pores even more. But be careful with the mint that you don't overcool the skin and then burn the skin as well. And this is also really, really good, especially if you have a function and you just quickly need a pick me up for your skin and shock it into looking well, like you've been taking care of your skin, even though you haven't been taking care of your skin. They just really get it, that temporary glow, the fullness, that vibrant, shining look that comes through the skin like you've just had a facial to get you to your function. And then after your function, well, nobody will really know that you've just added ice to your skin. So you can make up an elaborate story on how you got your skin looking that good. Or you can tell them the truth and literally just tell them, well, you just put some ice on your skin. It's totally up to you. But it's really good and really effective. Something simple and really something that you have in your house anyway. So it's not something expensive that you have to go buy or that you have to add to your facial routine. It's very simple and very easy. So of course, add it into your routine. Every now and again, if you really want to pick me up for your skin, put some ice on it. And that's all I have for you, my natural beauties. Quick, easy, and simple to do. So of course, if you've liked what you've seen today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like and share it with your friends so they can learn this as well and add some ice facials into their routine as well. And then of course, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be notified when I upload on Fridays. So until I meet all my natural beauties again, 
Have a lovely day and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.